Hello Aquarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how do you feel about each other. As always, these readings are meant to be general, uh, so take what resonates for you. So let's jump into your reading, Aquarius. Okay, regarding love, spirit, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What's going on for Aquarius in love? Aquarius, this reading is for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection. Okay, what's going on for Aquarius in love? For Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your connection first. Okay, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, and the Nine of Swords. Okay. I feel like someone wants to move forward into a more balanced state in your connection. Maybe something's taking a while to come together. Um, I feel like someone wants, yeah, Eight of Wands. Someone wants to move quickly, but I think with Temperance here, they're not able to. Um, or they want to come forward and maybe things are not really resolved right now or there's still things that are developing. Um, I feel like someone's worried about this. At least one of you is worried about what's not happening. Um, let me get some insight into your energies. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know, Spirit, about Aquarius? Okay, we have the Emperor. Aries energy. Tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know. The High Priestess, Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. All right. Well, with the Emperor, I get the sense that you're dealing with a masculine energy or you are wanting to take charge of the situation or fix something. But I sense you're in the, in the dark. There's something you feel far from your person or at least I, I sense that you're far from your person. And it doesn't have to be um, in the form of distance. That could be like an emotional distance. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. What else do we need to know? Like, it's a possibility this person's already committed to someone else because you have the Ten of Pentacles, they have the Hierophant. Page of Swords, okay. Let me get one more, please. Let me get one more for this other person. The King of Pentacles, okay. So a distinct possibility that this person is already in a commitment of some sort because for me as a reader the king of pentacles tends to already be in a commitment or is responsible for others so let's get some insight into form of energy tell me about the energies in this connection between aquarius and the person they're thinking about or dealing with what do we need to know about aquarius what do we need to know spirit and this other person okay we have victory lap Success, recognition, triumph. What else? What else? Hope, dreams, and longing. Okay. Someone could be hoping for success, for things to work out. Let me get one more for Aquarius and this other person. Bountiful harvest. Okay, so we have growth, abundance, patience. Someone could be manifesting growth, manifesting... Um, abundance here in the term you know in terms of like um, the connection growing the connection uh, having the connection move towards something more abundant more fulfilling again I, I get the sense that um, the connection as it is is not what you want Aquarius I could also be picking up on your person's energy there, but okay, tell me more. Tell me more about this connection, this connection spirit that Aquarius is dealing with. Okay, you will be rewarded. Gemini got this as well. And bottom of the deck, there is a purpose. So all of this is happening for a reason. When I see those two cards together, that's the message that I get. Um, 
Let me move these down. I still sense that someone's worried, someone's stressed, and I'm trying to figure out why that is. So let's break this down. Actually, let me use my clarifying deck. Can we get some energies clarified here for Aquarius? Aquarius, I have you on one side, I have your person on the other, but the energies could be vice versa. So feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about temperance. Sagittarius energy here. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone's worried about the time that something is taking or worried about improving something or resolving something. The world, okay? So someone could be worried about the next step or moving into a new cycle or ending something in order to have a new cycle. It's like a new cycle or the world is taking longer than someone thought it would. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So maybe things are taking time or longer than they otherwise would because of finances or because someone feels outside of everything, out in the cold, abandoned, struggling in some way. What's this chariot about? Why is the chariot here? Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. So I feel like someone just wants to get out there. They want to move forward. They want to take some sort of action with the Page of Wands and the Chariot taking initiative. And then I have the Page of Swords. So maybe this is someone communicating to you that they want to move forward or someone has their eye on the person they want to move towards. One of those. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. So why the worry? Why the stress? Probably because of this um, temperance energy. Tell me about Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Again, I, I yeah, and then the King of Pentacles. I feel like your person has you in the dark. This person. There's the King of Swords. It's like you want answers from them, you want information from them, or they are telling you something, but not everything. I think someone's worried about, about what they don't know. Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, okay. If there is a third party, you're in the dark about that, or you're anxious about that because maybe there's no action. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? What's this world energy about? Tell me about the world. The moon. Pisces energy. Yeah. I get the sense that, and there's the king of swords again. It's like someone wants to know, where is all of this headed? Do we have a future? What's taking so long? You know, is this ever going to happen? Anxieties over what you don't know or are, are not sure of. And, and, you know, again, I sense there's a distance between you and this person. So it's like you want to be closer, um, but you're not. So let's get some insight into your energies for each other. Tell me about the energies between Aquarius and this other person. Tell me about the energies. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to read these, but I'm going to put them back just because I didn't ask who I wanted to know about. I want a second chance. I wasn't ready. We need to talk. Okay. So those kind of work together kind of perfectly. So tell me about the energy on Aquarius' side. What is Aquarius thinking, feeling when it comes to this connection or this person? This is out of my control. So Aquarius, I feel like that's probably you're the you're probably the anxious one here because something is out of your control. Tell me about the person Aquarius is has or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? I see you in my dreams. I'm heartbroken. Interesting. I'm getting an interesting message here. I see you in my dreams because they don't see you in person. 
um, that could be why there's a distance here because you're not able to see each other. If this person is in a commitment of some sort already, then that is why they are heartbroken or disappointed. It's because this is what's creating distance. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Why is the Emperor here? The Empress, okay. Why is the Emperor here? Divine Counterparts. Why is the Emperor here? Five of Pentacles again. So I feel like, once again, you are not with your person or they're not with you. This has not been successful. I'm speaking to an Aquarius whose connection with this other person has not been successful. Why is the High Priestess here? Or there's like a distance between you and this person, like you can't be together. Ten of Wands. So I feel like someone's holding something back that's big. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck there. Yeah, there's like a, there's like a wall here. I don't think you know all of the facts about what's going on over here. It's way too many. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Once again, I feel like you are far. Uh, so this is someone withdrawn, closed off with the Hermit. This is someone that doesn't really speak. They're far away. They've retreated. They've withdrawn and they're kind of doing their own planning and thinking. I think that for some of you, you haven't spoken to this person in some time or the communication has been cut off. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Oh yeah, the Four of Wands. I think that you, most of you I think have hope for the future, but there's like this block here with the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, King of Wands. I feel like this is what you want, but there's someone else. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. And this Ten of Pentacles does not necessarily have to be that this person has um, a partner and children. It could be that they have a family situation, like maybe their family has a hold on them or they have some sort of obligation to their family members or a specific family member. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. King of Swords. I feel like some of you, you just want to know, what's the truth? What's up with us? Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let me grab a Romance Angel for you. Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius? What do we need to know about Aquarius? Free yourself. It's time to take back control over your life. So you might want to be, maybe you're thinking about freeing yourself from this connection. Maybe you're wanting your person to free themselves of their, whatever they have going on over there. We'll see when I keep clarifying over here, what's up with this person. See you in my dreams, I'm heartbroken. With the Page of Swords here, they could be watching you, observing you online or something like that. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Eight of Wands. Why is the Hierophant here? Two of Cups. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords. I really hope this person hasn't made a, a promise of commitment to you. Can I get one more with the Hierophant? Because if that's the case, why can't they deliver? Ace of Wands. 
Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person has made you a promise of some sort. Maybe they're not in a commitment. Maybe the situation is that they have said they're going to commit to you. But nothing has happened. Tell me about the Page of Swords. If that's your story, let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable sharing. Has Have you and this person made some sort of a, um, agreement or is there an expectation that they will commit to you? Have they said that they're working on it? That they are committed to you? Have they made you some sort of a promise and your connection hasn't moved forward? Let me know. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Knight of Wands. I Again, I get the sense this person has talked about what they're going to do. So why the distance between you? Yeah, there's a Seven of Swords. Why the distance? Why the fact that you're in the dark? I sense that you're in the dark, but I don't know why. I really hope this person isn't hiding some other commitment from you. And you just don't know, because that would be terrible. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Nine of Cups. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So they most likely have to leave some sort of situation that they're stuck in. There's the cherry after that. If they live long distance from you, if they're in another commitment, if they've made you a promise to come forward, I feel like there might be something off about that. Can we get some more insight into this person that Aquarius is has or will be dealing with? Can we get some insight into this person that Aquarius is has or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Occupation. Well, they're hard at work. They are busy, focused. Maybe this, maybe their job keeps them away. They're working on something, putting an effort into something. So why is everything, why the anxiety then? It's like someone's saying, I'm working on things, I'm busy, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But then where are, where's the outcome? Where are the results? Tell me more about this person's energy. We need to know about this person's energy. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person might be telling you to have faith in them, in what they are going to bring you or give you. Um, they might even be telling you that the situation is out of their control, that they're heartbroken, that they're not able to make something happen. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. What do we need to know about the chariot? The high priestess. Yeah, there's something off here. Some secret or mystery about this chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. The knight of swords. Clarity. Truth. Communication. The moon is here with the nine of swords. The high priestess is here with the chariot. And then the nine of swords is here with the four of pentacles. Let me see what else I can go with the knight of swords. I don't have anything else with the Nine of Swords. Okay. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Can I get one more? About this Nine of Swords. Someone that has sleepless nights, anxiety, remorse. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Two of Wands. So again, someone's wondering, you know, when something is coming. I feel like someone's waiting. Waiting for something to happen. And this person, I feel like maybe they are someone you have a serious connection with. There's a purpose to everything that's happening. But behind that, I also have be careful. You know, so... I feel like there's more to this than meets the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the extended to see where all of this is headed in the near future. And then I'm going to single out the high priestess, the moon the high priestess and I'm going to look at that separately I want to know what's going on there or do we get some insight from spirit about that because I feel like there's something here that's that you don't know or not aware of or there's more to this than meets the eye there's more to this than you might be aware of Aquarius